Okay, I'm ready to do a little forge work here. This is a uh, piece of M2 tool steel that I have that, unfortunately I didn't know this, but when I bought it, it was annealed, soft. So I've got to make it hard. Now, I don't have the actual proper reel set up to really do this justice, but I found that by heating it up and quenching it and then drawing a temper out of it, I can get it pretty darn hard. Maybe not as good, unfortunately, as the professional tool makers make it, but uh, I've got the steel I bought it. There's not much else I can do with it, so I'm just trying to forge ahead here. Okay, so this is uh, just a brown nose scrape that I'm making. Um, I've done this once. I want to do it three times in total and then draw a temper out of it. So this end here right now is still annealed. So this is where the tang will be ground and this is where we're going to handle. It'll still be fairly soft so it won't snap off if I have a catch or something. This end here is quite hard. Um, it's also magnetic right now. See that my magnet? Magnetic. So I'm going to stick that in the forge and then um, we'll come back in five or ten minutes and uh, quench it here in my bucket of uh, safflower oil. in there nice and deep and we'll let that sit there for five minutes or so I want to initially I have the Ford set kind of low with the things not going very hard right now and uh, it'll heat it up a little slower I, I understand that with this M2 tool seal if you heat it up really quickly it can crack so I've got it on fairly low heat setting right now if that makes sense okay that's it see you in a few minutes Okay, time to check. Get back here. I think this is getting pretty close. I'm going to test it with the magnet again. It's still magnetic there, but not here. But I'm going to heat it up just a little bit more, a little further down. Let it warm up just a bit more. Crank up the board. Getting hot in there. Okay, it's not magnetic. Keep moving that around in there. I'm using safflower oil. Safflower oil has a big advantage over motor oil in that when it burns up like you just saw it there and right now as it's smoking away here, it just smells like I'm making fish and chips. It doesn't smell like I'm burning up a car motor. And also, you know, when it ignites the smoke that comes off, it's not toxic, whereas the uh, stuff from uh, motor oil, with all the crap they put in motor oil nowadays, you just never know what's burning up in the smoke and what you're breathing in, so I just think it's a lot better to use the soft oil. Um, I happen to get a couple of expired bottles from a friend of mine who runs a business that sells the stuff, but uh, you can go to Costco or Sam's Club or some big discount place that serves restaurants and I'm sure you can get like a big you know one or two or whatever gallon or liter big tub of it for you know 20 or 30 bucks or something like that and uh, it will last a long time. I mean I've used this a few times now and there's a few chunks of crap in the bottom there but I mean it's still relatively clear in that. You gotta be careful though because it sure does get hot. Okay, now I'm going to just take this out. It's still quite hot, but I'm just going to leave it there. Let it sit, cool off. And that's it. Now I've got to figure out a way to temper these suckers because uh, I don't really have a temperature control on that. So I've got to figure out a way to 
have a temperature control that I can bring these up to, I think it's 580 degrees Celsius is what the maker of this metal says, and hold it there for 62 minutes to properly temper them. So we'll see, see what I can come up with. Anyways, more Dungeons Adventures. See you later.